Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets tutorial video. In this video, we're going to go over setting up the Hutu wireless router, the AC1200. It's going to look like this. So basically what we're going to do is, it's going to be the setup from straight getting out of the box to connecting it in the cables into it, and then logging into the admin screen, setting up all the settings so that we have a fully functional dual band Wi-Fi system. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about the first thing you need to do is plug everything in. This is crucial, is plugging the cables in the correct area. You need to plug the power adapter into the DC in 12 volt area. Then the cable, Ethernet cable, coming from your cable modem needs to go into the blue plug labeled WAN. After that, you need to have another Ethernet cable plugged into a computer that has a way to plug an Ethernet cable into it through one of these plugs, the yellow plugs, LAN 1 through 4. Whichever one, you can choose either one, it's fine. So again, that's an Ethernet cable from your computer to one of these yellow plugs. After you've done that, go to your web browser on the computer that you plugged in through the Ethernet cable. Type in this IP address, 10.10.10.252. That's going to bring you to your default administra administration screen for this router. It's not 1.92.168.1.1, or or, like most routers have. This has a different router or a different IP address. Once you get there, the default password is going to be all lowercase admin. So this is what it's going to look like when you go to 10.10.10.252. So I'll go ahead and type in admin. All right, so we are connected to the router. And now let's get the internet set up. The first thing I recommend doing is to power cycle both the cable modem and the router. Just power cycle both of them at the same time. Make sure they're all you're all kind of just starting from a good base. And That'll allow just any settings, any configuration with the cable modem just to start talking to the router correctly. I would go to the LAN status, excuse me, the WAN status. Make sure that this says connected. If it does not, then that means we need to go to the network settings under WAN settings and change this connection type from dynamic to either static where your IP, ISP will assign you an IP address and then you'll have to enter that information in or one of these other settings where you have to end up enter a username, password, things like that. Most likely in America, you will be on dynamic IP address. So uh, that's all you need to do. They'll assign your ISP will assign you an IP address. I have Comcast and this was the setting for me. MTU should be 1500, which is default. So we'll go ahead and leave that there. After that, we need to set up our wireless router settings. So we go down to the WAN settings, W-L-A-N, basic setup. So now we have the wire, the Wi-Fi is already enabled. We need to make sure that we change the SSID to whatever you want. I'm just going to do router test 2.4. I'm going to leave everything else uh, default just because, you know, in your area it could be completely different. So just leave these default. This should work fine. You can change these down the road if you're having some connection issues just because you have too many people on one channel in your area, but really they should work fine. So we'll go ahead and save that. It'll take a second to save, but then you'll be good to go. After this, we need to assign a password to be able to get on that network. So we'll go back to the network setting or the WAN settings, go to security, enable WPA2 personal, leave the algorithm the same, and then come up with a password. Now this password, I believe, can be pretty long. You want it to, the longer the better. It cannot contain special characters, which I'm a little bit disappointed about, but you want to mix some capital letters, so we'll do a capital T test, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want it to be longer than that if you can, but this is just for a test. So we'll make that the password. I'm going to go ahead and copy that so I have to do it in the future. But uh, yeah, so mix some capital letters in there. Try to make it a little bit hard for a computer to guess. Give it some time. So we'll go ahead and save that. It's going to take another probably 10 seconds to save. And after this, you're ready to get onto your network. 
through Wi-Fi. We can go ahead and disconnect the Ethernet cable. Let's check and just make sure before we do that. You can see test router 2.4. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug Ethernet from my computer. As you can see, I lost connection. I need to connect to the router. Put in my password. Next. It'll take a second. We'll be connecting. All right, so now we're connected through the new router. So we can go back to 10.10.10.2, type in the default admin password. I want to do two more settings here, or three more settings. So I want to go back to networks or to WAN settings, and now we'll set up the 5G band. Under network mode, I like to have this as 11. 11A, AN, and AC mode because I feel like it's more compatible with more devices. I had some issues with my work laptop not being able to get on my network when I just had it under AN mode. So I'm going to go ahead and say, change that to test router 5. And it's good to have a different name, at least with a number, signifying that this is the 5G frequency. So after that, you're good to go. Go ahead and save it. Now we need to go in and enable and then configure the password for the 5G Wi-Fi. And we'll do that through the security settings right over here. So now that it's saved, we'll go to the security settings. Oh, excuse me. Uh, security settings. 5G. Enable that. I'm going to make it the same password so it's easier to remember. But you can definitely make it different, and I would recommend making it different. Save that. After we have saved this, we have our network, our Wi-Fi completely set up. We have two Wi-Fi networks that you'll be able to see when you look over 5G and the 2.4 gigahertz. The benefit of this is that you can hook to more multimedia and entertainment intensive devices such as Chromecast or you know so your wireless TV or something like that up to the 5G, less interference, and you can still connect to it, cast to it play videos to it from your computer or your cell phone that's on your 2.4 gigahertz network. Now that we have this set up, we need to change the default password for the admin section of 10.10.10.252. So we're going to go under System Tools, Change Password, put in Admin under the old password, and then a new password of your choice. This is something that you can remember but will be hard for anybody to guess or hack. So you want to do it same kind of thing as your network uppercase, lowercase, and numbers, and I don't know if this does special characters, but I'm not going to try for this test, but you might want to test that. So I'm just going to do admin2. Go ahead and save. <clears throat> going to sign us out. We can go ahead and sign in through admin2. Alright, so now we are completely ready to go. We have our Wi-Fi set up at the 2.4 right there. And we are ready to connect to the internet and start playing with the other settings. So check out my other videos. I will go over connecting a USB drive, sharing the media over your entire network, as well as some of the other different cool settings that are available in this device. So check out my other videos. I'm going to create a playlist just for this device alone. And we'll do some tutorials to teach you how to get the most out of it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any questions you have in the comments. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can, which is much, with much details I can give you. Please rate and subscribe. If you like this video, if it helped you, just give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe for more great videos. My channel is Gaging Gadgets. and Check out gaginggadgets.com for a more detailed write-up of this tutorial. So, Thank you so much for watching.